mic was muted. I'm sorry. It's a good thing I realized it just as I was starting this now. But hey, welcome back to another episode of DGS. I believe Naruhoto was asking what the old man was looking for on his, uh, on his hands and knees on the floor. Something I lost. Something you'd lost? Lila gold coins! The valuable Hoei era gold coins! Whenever I go to that restaurant, I always slip one of the items that I want to promote from my shop, the crackpot shop, into my pocket before I go. So you can rope rich customers into business negotiations, right? That day, I showed my hooey wares to the soja who was scoffing down his beef. I doubted he'd buy anything, but there were no other customers there. When I did... I took my eyes off them, just for a second, and when I look back, they completely disappeared. Your gold coins disappeared. I thought maybe I dropped them, so I was looking around on the floor, and that's when it happened. The gunshot rang throughout the shop, you mean? Yes, indeed, but I was too busy looking for my holy air treasure to pay it any mind. I searched until my whole body was one big blood sh One big bloodshot eye. Wait, what? By the way... Did you ever find your gold coins? No, I didn't. I see. I lost my valuable Hoei gold coins that day. Perhaps some uncouth ruffian stole them. As you gentlemen know, our main goal here is to seek a swift conclusion to this incident. We must send a telegram to the British government with the results by this afternoon. But the testimony we just heard was by no means conclusive. Our country's government may not be able to stand up against that of Great Britain. But it would be inexcusable to hand down a verdict at this point. Hmm. What are your thoughts, Prosecutor Ochi? <laughs> Please, there's no need for concern, Your Honor. These witnesses' testimonies aren't finished yet. What do you mean? If you listen to their next bit of testimony, everything should come become clear. There's only one person who could have perpetrated the de just detestable crime. That detestable college student over there, Norohodo Ryanosuke! What? You sure have a lot of hatred heaped on you, don't you? Ugh. The court requests that the witnesses give their next bit of testimony about their basis for naming this defendant as their culprit. Am I understood? These words from the crackpot shop will sh cost you dearly. Agreed! Sergeant Uzukabaro is ready to report once more! Child included. <laughs> um, there's something peeking over your shoulder. This child is the last hope of the Uzukumaro clan. His name is Kurumaro. It appears he doesn't even have the means to hire someone to watch his child. Kurumaro, child of mine, your father is about to strike down these, this evil. Watch closely now! Why, he's a criminal. Even if I didn't see the exact moment when he pulled the trigger, it was basically the same thing. The black-clad kid was pointing a gun at the white-clad gentleman. I remember that much as well. And at that time, we were the only customers in the whole restaurant. Indeed, the white-clad gentleman was enjoying a quiet meal alone at his table. Therefore, there's no one who could have shot that gentleman besides that delinquent over there. That concludes my report. 
that child is cute. That sounded quite decisive to- Please, wait, that's- that's ridiculous. The victim, Professor Watson, wasn't alone at his table. For oh, heaven's sake, defendant, control yourself! But there was a woman! There should have been a young woman at the table with him! You must have seen her! You must have! If you're going to call yourself a defense attorney, then you must learn not to speak out of turn! We're not here to listen to you spew nonsense! These witnesses have made it quite clear that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. And here is a photograph to prove it. Is this a photo of the crime scene? This is a photo of the victim's table taken during the investigation. On this table, there is only a meal for one person. It's true, as far as we can tell from this photo. The victim had no companions. It's a natural conclusion to draw. <sighs> That's ridiculous. The court would like this photo submitted as evidence. Uh, the table contains a bottle of carbonated water and a steak lunch on a plate. But... What on earth is going on here? How could no one else have seen her? That's the same claim the head waiter was spouting earlier. They all say that Professor Watson came to that restaurant alone. But it's not true. I saw her. I... I, I really did see her. It seems that we'll be able to send the telegram to the British government as planned. The testimony that was just given truly leaves no room for doubt. We're at a bit of a delicate juncture with the with Great Britain since we've just entered a new treaty with them, you see. I am honored to have been able to play a part in maintaining the friendly ties between our two nations. Oh my god, we're only on the first case and we already get this? <laughs> How could this happen? The trial is over. Lift up your head, Narahodo. This isn't over yet. Okay. If what you've been telling me is true, then there must be something fishy going on here. We've got to draw out the truth, with cross-examination. A, a sogi. The defense has the right to cross-examination. Let's get it over with. Honestly, rules are so bothersome. Ugh. Following along the guide here, it doesn't look like we're gonna be pressing everything. That black-clad kid was pointing a gun at the white-clad gentleman. I remember that much as well. Seriously, all I did was pick it off- pick it up off the floor. I expect no other story from the murderer. I finished my coffee and was just about to leave the restaurant. When I noticed the pistol on the floor near Professor Watson's feet and picked it up. That's when... A gunshot rang out through the shop. Oh, that's the line, sorry. I forgot there was a bang. <laughs> Life often doesn't go the way we plan. Uh, what do you mean? Well, just picking up that pistol, you got yourself into that mess. As for me, it's by failing to find a Huey gold coins I dropped that I got myself into this mess. Ugh. Goodness. <laughs> in any case, boy, I know what I saw. You were standing in front of that white-clad gentleman holding a gun. We were the only customers in the whole restaurant. Hi there was one other person at Professor Watson's table, a woman. You keep 
keeps saying that over and over like a man possessed. But there's not a single other person who saw such a woman. <sighs> Only there have been a few more customers there. I'm sure someone would have seen her. At the time of the incident, it was already past two o'clock. It was between lunch and dinner, a low period in the business day. It's only natural that there wouldn't have been many customers. Indeed, two o'clock is a bit of an odd time to visit a restaurant. Did the victim have a reason for eating a meal alone there at that hour? Ah, actually, it seems there was a reason. Okay. This was found in the breast pocket of the victim's jacket. What is it? It appears to be a medical report. Apparently, the victim visited the doctor before coming to the restaurant. Otter Clinic. And I see the date and time of his exam written here. November 19th, between noon and 9 p.m. Uh, noon and 9 p.m. Jeez, that's a long appointment. <laughs> between noon and 1 p.m. That's definitely the day of the murder. After his exam, he went out for a late lunch, and that's what happened. Anyway, it has nothing to do with the murder, so I didn't deem it necessary to report it. Hmm. What do you think, Narahodo? Uh, uh, well, it's true. It doesn't seem to be related. If necessary, we can ask for it to be submitted as evidence. Should I request that Professor Watson's exam report be submitted as evidence? Make a request. Hi! Would you mind submitting the exam report as evidence? For what purpose? Uh... We already have decisive testimony. There's no need for pointless evidence. Besides, what the victim did the day before the incident was no, has no bearing on this trial. Wanna bet? Whether it's related to the incident or not, we have a right to investigate the possibility. B what You don't have the authority to refuse our request. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. <laughs> Young people these days, all they want to talk about is their rights. What a despicable trend. The court accepts the victim's exam report into evidence. A report from Hata Clinic found in the victim's pocket. Okay, we have to look into that at some point. What we need right now is a new clue. Even if it appears at a glance to be unrelated, we can't just overlook it. Uh, understood. Hm. Why don't you just acknowledge that your attempts to prolong this trial are pointless? After all, the testimony is very clear. Isn't that right, Mr. Antique Shop Proprietor? Well done, Narahodo. You managed to draw out some new information. That... Yeah. I don't really see how this changes our situation much, though. There don't seem to be any of those so-called contradictions. I don't know if I'd say that. That medical exam report you got just now, can I see it? Uh, you mean this? This could be the new clue we've been looking for. Perhaps it's worth looking at a bit more closely. More closely? How do we do that? With some pieces of evidence, an examine button will appear. If you touch that, you can have a closer look at that time on the upper screen. On the lower screen will be two dials you can slide up or down to turn the object. You can give the evidence a good glaring at from any angle you want. On top of that, you can also slide your pen along the touch panel. To manipulate the cursor on the upper screen and see whether there's any new clues to be gleaned. If the cursor reacts, 
Touch the check button. Now then, Naruhoto, let's start with this exam report. See what new clues you can find. Alright, got it. Let's give this a shot. Use the dials and cursor to investigate any detail that looks suspicious. I love them breaking fourth, uh, fourth walls trying to explain mechanics. The exam report says hot a clinic on it. Clinics are my least favorite places, next to doctors, offices, and hospitals. Those are all basically the same types of place. When I was five, I caught the only cold I ever had. Even though I was already suffering, they stabbed a shot mercilessly into my arm. I'll never forget it as long as I live. I'll never forget. That's an awful lot of whining from someone who was such a miraculously healthy child. In any case, this doesn't seem that this clinic practices internal medicine. We better check closely to see if there's any new information here. I'm supposed to be flipping this thing open. Continuing all lines here. Th this appears to be a doctor's record. The details of the treatment he received that day are written here. Dental extraction performed under anesthesia. Dental extraction? That means he had a tooth pulled? It seems that Professor Watson had a cavity removed right before the murder. I wonder if they gave him laughing gas. It's a new western invention used for surgeries. Okay, so the first part, I wonder if they gave him laughing gas. It's a new Western invention used for surgery. That was a Sogi. This one, the last one before that, I've heard people talk about Anastasia before too, though. I've had a hard time believing that the part about not being able to feel pain when they use it, though. At the bottom, a warning from the doctor was included. Due to residual effects of anesthesia, patients must refrain from consuming anything besides water for up to three hours after the procedure. What? This seems like information we should add to the court record. Right? With this new information, this piece of evidence takes on a whole new meaning. Why don't we try listening to the testimony again? Right. Oh man, that was a mess. I apologize. Alright. Okay. We are presenting, I believe, on the fourth statement now. Oops. Uh, the gentleman was enjoying a meal alone at his table. We're gonna present the exam report here. Hi! Uh, um... So, basically... How should I put this? What's wrong, boy? You call your you call yourself a lawyer? I was a defendant before I was a lawyer, you know. Naruhoto. Everyone has trouble finding the right words sometimes. Don't let it rattle you too much. Sogi. I understood what you were getting at by watching your cross-examination. I knew from the moment I saw you put your hand in the air that the words were inside your head. You don't need to agonize over word choice. Just say it as it's worded in your head. Okay, I'll try. You can do it, Naruhodo. Witness, this is the victim's medical exam report. Oh? Just what are you trying to get at, boy? There's something written on it that doesn't quite... Oh. <laughs> I mean, I just think there's something funny about it. Oh my, have you already forgotten what I told you? What? what part? The part where I said that posers who don't understand court procedures should keep their traps shut. Uh... 
now listen up. The victim was killed at the restaurant at around 2 p.m. What he did before that point has absolutely no bearing on this case. C well, um... There's no need to agonize over word choice, Naruhoto. Just say it the way it is in your head. Your Honor, I'm sure it must be just as clear to you that there's no need for this trial to continue. Hmm. After all, this testimony has made everything crystal clear. That the exam report is meaningless. We know this because there's no one who could have perpetrated this crime. Was that a real death slam? <laughs> you think this exam report is unrelated? Is that really the conclusion you drew? What, what's this all about? You don't scare me! There's no need to draw conclusions, it's obvious that it's unrelated! Even if this Hata Clinic were a dentist's office... D dentist No one told me anything about that! And even if the reason the victim went there was to get a tooth pulled. Oh, oh what, what did you say? And... Even if, because of that, he was under doctor's orders not to eat anything? W wait a moment there. Just what are you getting at? So what if he wasn't allowed to eat? What does that matter? It's all written right here. Due to residue effects of the anesthesia, anesthesia, patient must refrain from consuming anything besides water for up to three hours after the procedure. What? That's ridiculous! Older gentleman, what do you want? As you've just heard, this incident occurred a little at a little after 2 p.m. The victim couldn't have eaten a meal at that time. Oh, impossible! And there's one more thing. What? What is it? You've both been testifying very firmly that the victim was enjoying a meal alone. Look at that real death slam. But that's simply not possible. Oh. After all, the victim has just been under anesthesia to have a tooth pulled. Well said, my friend. His real death slam. That was cute. What, what are you blabbing about, you little brat? What a useless attempt at a diversion! Look at this photo! It clearly shows a steak on the victim's table! Cool. That's precisely the contradiction he's been trying to point out. Did you not understand that? What? Now the situation has been completely changed. Isn't that right, Naruhoto? Uh, oh, oh, of course it has. The victim had just had a tooth pull and couldn't eat. In that case, there's only one question we can ask next. Who on earth was eating this steak? The court would like to hear the defense's thoughts on the matter. Is that clear, defense? Oh, uh, you're talking to me, aren't you? Are you ready? Everything begins with this answer. It's time for you to show us how you're going to turn this all around. No pressure or anything. Uh, understood. Uh, um... The one who was eating the steak was probably... The victim himself, Naruhodo, the two witnesses, a third person. It was obviously the other person was with the victim at his table. How many times must I say this? There was no such person! Say that as many times as you want. I... I saw her there. At the time of the incident, the victim was unable to eat. 
and yet the steak on his table was half eaten. In other words, there was another person there. That's the natural conclusion we can draw. Aside from the parts we have clear proof of, the testimony we've heard cannot be trusted. If you intend to try and force a verdict at this point, then we shall have to lodge a complaint with the Ministry of Justice, and follow it up till the bitter end. A, a sogi? You, you conceited little! You think you can stand up to the great Japanese Empire's administration of justice? I'm not talking to you. W what I'm talking to you two! Witnesses! W what What? What's that supposed to mean? Just as the evidence proves, the victim was not alone. If the two of you are intentionally misleading the court, you'll naturally be charged with perjury. P perjury On top of that, this is a murder trial. That would naturally make you accessories to murder. A accessories? You can't be serious! Hold it! S soldier No one ever mentioned anything about that! We were only testifying as we were ordered to! Yes, that's right! We were told to pretend we... hadn't seen... the lady. Ah... Uh. What did he just say? Witness. Older gentleman, what did you just say now? Oh, well, uh... You testified that the way you were ordered to. Now, just one moment, I'm telling you, that was... You were told to pretend you hadn't seen the lady. <laughs> you used the word lady. In other words... The person you saw was... a foreign woman. Is that right? Uh... What on earth does this mean? These witnesses weren't testifying truthfully? Is that true, you two? It was only... a small slip of the tongue. Order! Order! What's going on here? I thought so. So you were putting a gag on the witnesses? I... I don't know! The prosecution has no knowledge of this! Ah. In that case, who exactly was it that swore you to secrecy? Hmm. I guess we'll just have to find that out in the next video, because we are now out of time. So... We'll see you guys in the next part of this case.